KC losing a couple of days ago, and then we're going to see them now against a Calabar team that features these players. Well, let's take a look at the Calabar high lineup. Omari Grant is between the sticks. They do have a back four of Edwards, Henry, McLeod, and Hutchinson. In the middle of the park, O'Brien Marks doing a late fitness test, manages to make the starting lineup for Calabar. Anthony McDonald, Raheem Rankin will be playing uh, centrally in the middle of the park. And up top, Christopher McKenzie with three goals to his name. He's going to be flanked by Javel Watson on the right and Sheridan Wilson on the left. Yeah, it's an Andrew Price coach team, so you know what that means. Possession football, but with some quick attackers looking to exploit the opposition defence. As far as Heidel is concerned, they go on the road with Tajari Lee between the sticks. The back four of uh, Darren Campbell, Joe McGordon, uh, Joseph Brightley and Dante Stewart. All veterans in the business as far as Heidel is concerned, returning from last year. In the middle of the park, Michael Forbes, Gabriel Seaborn and Ronaldo Barrett up top. Uh, Kelland Smith, the centre forward, seven goals and three assists to his name so far. Deshaun Henry on the left, Omario Henry on the right hand side. Yeah, a lot of star-studded players here, but of course you have to look out for the number eight. As we take a look at the full-time highlights here, Heidel knew that they needed the away win, but they conceded pretty early here. Just a terrible mix-up at the back uh, between goalkeeper Tajari Lee and uh, defender uh, Brightly. Joseph Brightly, they just couldn't clear that long-range effort from Isaac Clark and Calabar with the advantage on home soil early in the first half. That was his first goal this season. And uh, Heidel, they had a few chances from the Henrys. The Sean Henry, the eventual goal scorer with that attempt, but it was straight to the goalkeeper. And they kept plugging away. And from one Henry to the next, and the former Calabar student with the finish. Deshaun, the provider. Omario with the finish. Didn't celebrate, did Omario Henry, out of respect. And there's a long ball played inside, and that was a big opportunity for Fitzroy McLeod, you know couldn't place it either side of Tajari Lee. And then, second yellow card, flashed in the direction of Keelan Smith. And Heidel, they were down to 10 players. Imagine that. There was a, a trip from behind. And with that, he was sent for an early shower. Calabar thought they would take advantage with the one-man advantage. Didn't quite do so. Here's an attempt that went across the face of goal. Slipping all the time, couldn't find the target. Then the ball over the top. That was a delightful ball from Baritino and then Henry with the finish. And the Calabar defenders, for all their worth, trying to clear their lines, couldn't. And the Sean Henry, who was provider of the first goal, was the scorer of the second. Heidel with the advantage there. And there was a free header for the Calabar captain again. Fitzroy McLeod couldn't convert. And Heidel held on for the win. Calabar with 15 shots, four of which were on target. Heidel had 16 shots, five on target. There were, what, 24 fouls committed in this game? Four yellow cards were flash in the direction of Heidel who of course lost a player and uh, corner kicks five apiece and uh, Heidel high with uh, the advantage in terms of possession at 55 percent
And it's now time to hear from our KFC man of the match. He seems to be injured, but he's still a big deal. The captain is right beside him as well. Let's hear now from Gerard Morissini. Yeah, thank you so much, Donald. I'll have the man of the match here with me. He's wearing the number five jersey. You can hold on to that, sir. Your captain is right next to you. And uh, his name, obviously, is yeah. Michael Forbes. Let me talk to Michael first, though, as the man of the match. Michael, uh, obviously, you have a little knock there. The injury, tell me about it. Are you are you doing okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Smile. Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah. Um, you, you would have played a lot of positions on the field today. Just tell me exactly what your role was and which position was your favorite? Uh, I played center back. Center back is my normal position, but the coach just tried me at far forward to see what what I can do. All right. Well, let me talk to Ronaldo here now. Ronaldo, uh, you're a captain of this team. Obviously, you must be very proud of this result today. Do you think? Well, this is the start of you getting out of the group. Of course, we know that you've had a pretty difficult. Uh, couple of matches but now is this a bright spark in what has been a pretty good season for Haida? Well I'm great for the win. Yeah we fell short um, with a player but we fought through the, the end and just we're grateful for the win. All right thank you so much Ronaldo. Let me yeah. talk now to your coach Devon to, to coach Andrew Price from Calabar High. Of course he's not a, a, a happy man but uh, we'll hit, get his thoughts very shortly. Coach Price you know that we saw you throughout the entire game. You were, you had that exact look on your face. Just exactly what are you thinking of? Well, I think that we gave up an opportunity to have collected all three points. Um, the game was decided on a goalkeeping error. You know, um, it's a real travesty. But these are young players. They'll make mistakes. So you know, we're not going to burden them with too much pressure. We'll just have to get it right the next time around. You know, but you know, to give up that goal at that particular time was, you know was really, really hard on the rest of the team. We, we tried to fight and we tried to come back. And I think we gave as much as we got from um, this ideal team. You know, they are a bigger and stronger team than us. So, you know, we tried to match up as best as we could with them. And I think it was a good game and it will serve us well for the remainder of the season. Yeah, well, this result doesn't steal your fate, but it does give you a little bit more work to do. Just exactly what are you looking to touch upon as you move ahead for the rest? Well, you know, um, as I said um, before the game, you know, we had to play three games in five days and this was the second game. So the next game is against um, KC on Tuesday here at Calabar and we have to get maximum points when we play that game. All right, Coach, well, we'll see you in that game. Thank you so much for Thanks. this interview. That was Coach Andrew Price there now from... Calabar. Let's have a chat now with Coach Devin Anderson from Heidel, who obviously would be the happier of the two. Coach Anderson, you did say before that you would tell us after the game just exactly what you learned about Calabar. What did you learn about Calabar? Yeah, we have a portion, a mix, you know. If you ever watch, if you ever remember the show with the the tree, the tree girl, you know, yeah, when they mix a portion, yes, <laughs> you know, forget rid of the, you understand? Yeah, yeah. the opponent, well, yeah. Yeah, well, Coach, you now join Calabar on points. You don't go past them on the table, though, but this is a good foundation, of course, for your team to move forward. Yes, we take it one game at a time. You know, Calabar can't take anything away from them. They, 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 it was a hard-fought game. You know, we went down to 10 players. You know, we never ease up, we never back. You know, we continue to press, we continue to press. You know, we never go in a defensive mode or panic because I know the ability of the kids that, you know, we can pull it off. Yeah, I just want to, to, to ask you now, because obviously you are at a point of the season now where you'll be looking ahead. You're on your route to being into the second round. Just exactly what is the, the goal for this season? We start the season with the goal to win the Manning Cup. And our goal, even though a lot of obstacles along the way, our goal never changed. We don't differ from our goal. We continue. No matter how difficult it, it may seem, we continue on that process. All right, Coach. Well, we'll see you throughout the season. Thank you so much and congratulations Respect. for the day. Yeah.